Hi, this is Roger Peterson. In this video, I'm going to take a look at why the public employee unions, uh, known as the sindicatos in Costa Rica, have declared a national strike. So let's look at the causes, the reasons why they're striking, um, and let's analyze a little bit about the fiscal situation of Costa Rica, which is part of the reason this is all coming about. The principal organizer of the national strike has been the National Association of Public and Private Employees, known as ANEP. And here's on their, on their website uh, for ANEP. And they're in charge of organizing all the public sector employees of Costa Rica. So what, what is their opposition? What are they complaining about? Why have they called the strike? Let's look at the uh, main causes of what has brought this about. This is Legislative Bill 20,580 currently being discussed in the National Assembly of Costa Rica and known as the Law to Strengthen the Public Finances. The intent of the law is to generate new, fresh revenue by form of taxes in order to assist the government in cutting its deficit. This proposed tax reform bill is probably the fourth attempt within the last 12 to 15 years of trying to address the structural deficits in Costa Rica. However, there has never been enough political will to get it done. All previous administrations simply kept kicking the ball down to the next administration and here we are once again with a new government and the same problem facing this new administration as well. So what does all this have to do with the strike? Well famed economist Joseph Stiglitz uh, pointing out that Costa Rica faces two critical problems is the structural fiscal deficit and a gridlock political system. The solutions according to him are either to boost economic growth, raise taxes, or lower the expenditures. Guess which one Costa Rica has chosen? By way of this tax reform bill, the government has chosen to raise taxes by a, bring in a value-added tax, bring in capital gains taxes, and other types of uh, taxes to increase uh, revenue. The second component of the tax reform bill is aimed at cost containment. So going forward, what the government is trying to do is to reverse or halt some of the automatic pay increases that were built in with previous laws and also curtail the abuses with the, the assignment of the quantity of pensions that public employees are receiving. For example, here's a sampling of pensions uh, recently published uh, from the public sector. Many of these are judicial uh, branch uh, payments and they range from uh, pensions of $13,300 a month all the way up to $20 four thousand dollars per month this brings us back to our question why are the public sector employees declaring a national strike it is mainly in opposition to this tax reform bill which seeks to contain uh, government spending going uh, forward in the meantime the government presents its 2019 budget which is 17.5 percent more in spending than the previous year as you can see from this chart the majority of the funding goes to cover the payments on the public debt that's interest and amortization. Then a large chunk goes to the Ministry of Education, pensions, and the healthcare system. Despite all of this, as the table indicates, Costa Rica has made some social achievements that are very impressive. We have a large portion of the population in the middle class. The focus on education has paid off with a very well-educated population. Life expectancy is very high and infant mortality very low. So a lot of accomplishments that Costa Rica definitely needs to be proud of. Costa Rica is also a large recipient of foreign direct investment, so no surprise we have several hundreds of international companies currently operating in Costa Rica because of the quality of the people of Costa Rica and the lifestyle of the country. I will continue to monitor this tug of war between the president of Costa Rica and the public sector employees union over this uh, tax reform bill. We'll see if it passes the legislature or not and keep you posted. Thank you for watching the video.